What's up guys? Uh, I've got an update on the Mega Bass Gong. Um, let's see, the last time I did a video I only had two of these things. Um, it was those two brown ones. And uh, the collection's uh, grown quite a bit. Um, I've got them in this box here. I've got that um, that eye loud at the bottom there. I threw that thing in here too. Uh, but I've got quite a bit more. Uh, I've got a lot of the more exotic colors. And I just want to do an update video, um, just run down these colors, let you get a look at them. They're really, really cool. And there's still just not a lot of info out there on this bait. Um, so if you haven't seen my first video, I'm going to just do a, a real quick rundown. Um, this is the Mega Bass Gong. This is a wake bait by Mega Bass. And you notice the front of it looks kind of like a gorilla or a monkey. And that is um, to celebrate the year of the monkey. This is a... Um, uh, Zodiac lure, kind of a special thing that they're doing. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna, you know, keep doing this or, or what what the deal is, but um, so that's that's the whole deal with that. It's got this blade on the back that clanks around when you wake it. It's a really unique uh, lure, and um, it does catch fish. And like anything Mega Bass does, they have to make the colors just, you know, insane. <laughs> Uh, which you'll see in a second. Uh, so I'm going to run down these colors. Um, I'm going to do some of my favorites here first. I believe this is uh, Mecha Gorilla. Check that out. That is just awesome looking. It's kind of got this um, metallic uh, kind of look to it with these. They've even painted it where it looks like it has little rivets where it's put together like it's a machine. Got these kind of, you know, kind of green eyes in there that kind of reflect a little darker on the bottom. Just a really, really cool lure. Um, that's an awesome one. I'll show you one of the other more exotic ones. Check that out. Franken Gorilla. That is really, really cool. Look, it's even got like the little... A uh, little shirt, little buttons, little collar. I mean, that is just really cool. It has kind of, the blue kind of glows a little bit. Just super neat. Uh, let's see. I think this is uh, Moonlight Kong. Kind of got those kind of green reflective eyes, too. Kind of a little bit of a, kind of like a bone type color, but it's, you see it has a gloss. It doesn't have a matte finish. Uh, pretty cool. Viper Gong. Check that out. Really awesome. Nice little pattern there. Let's see. Lime Coach, I think, is this color. Kind of got that lime color on top. Kind of goes to a little bit of gold. And then kind of a whitish to a yellow on the bottom. Really, really cool looking. Really cool. Got, uh, this is a GLX Yeti. Now, this is one I fish uh, quite a bit. This kind of sparkle, kind of whitish, silverish color. I think this passes for a shad pretty well in the water. I don't fish all of these, but this is one that I do fish. These are the two. Um, you see, this is a Mazaru and... Um, Orangutan. That's Mazari where the eyes look like they're closed, like it's sleeping. These are uh, the first two. Oh yeah, let me point that out real quick. So check out that blade, kind of rounded. You know, you see the others, kind of diamond shaped. That's um, only the first two I got have the rounded blade. Um, so that's a little change I guess they made. And the diamond uh, shaped blade does seem to clank just a little bit louder. This is one I really like here. This is Armadillo. Uh, it's got a kind of a flat, kind of a matte uh, finish. It reminds me of um, White Python a lot with that pattern. It's just kind of got a tannish tint to it. Notice the uh, lip is kind of frosted. It's not um, clear and shiny. A little darker on the bottom. Just a really, really cool looking color. This one, I don't know what to make of this. This color is called Invisible. Um, you can see it's a little 
see through there, through the front, and through the back. And then it's got this blue section, 110. Um, I have not figured out exactly what <laughs> what this one is all about. I, I just, uh, it looks strange. I wanted to add some exotic colors in here. I picked it up. Um, I'll have to get back to you guys on, on what that is. And, and sometimes with these colors, you have to kind of look at them and you know when I first got the uh, Franken Gorilla it actually took me a second to figure out what that was in the bottom and I was like oh wait you know it's it's like the shirt you know with the collar the buttons you know like uh, Frankenstein so some of these colors they make you think a little bit but they're really really cool um, just super design um, oh yeah there's my my eye loud check that out while we're while we're looking at it but yeah these colors are just wow they're they're really something um yeah they're just great looking designs mega bass always delivers um they just they're they're always pushing the envelope on creativity um i mean it's it really is a work of art um it's not just something that catches fish they they really take it to the next level. It's something I've always um, liked and respected about them. Um, my first Mega Bass lure ever was a White Python Pop X. Um, and um, I probably caught 200 fish on that lure. I actually retired it after they bit the feather off of it and bent the trebles. Um, actually, um, I, I bought another one by that time and took that old one and actually hung on to it, you know, just as a relic. Um, but that that really got me started, and from there I got into their, you know, the Pop Max and some of the other lures that they do. Uh, I, I really really like the Gong. That is just it's um, as you can tell. I've I've been hunting these things down and buying them. It's really um, uh, really been my uh, my hobby the last month or so is getting the Gong and some of these crazy colors and you know fishing um, fishing some of them some of them just for collection purposes you know. I don't think I'm going to be throwing Franken Gorilla out there, but you know I I, I do throw like uh, like I mentioned with this one, you know. So some of these will get fished, and the fish do bite them. Um, but they're great lures. Um, like I said, just want to do an update video, show you all the new colors. Um, definitely check this lure out if you're like a JDM guy and you like looking at rare stuff and you know cool designs. Definitely uh, give these things a look. And, um, and get out there on the water and uh, catch you some.